All right, y'all, it's time. Kelly B is coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I'm very excited about this. Um, I've not read the kit yet, so we're gonna figure this out. But I will say, I am so glad that Ahmed Best is in this game. I love Keller and Beck, uh, especially Mando season three. I don't know what it is about him. Maybe it's the, the dual lightsabers, the, the gold robe neck thing. I don't know what it's about, but he looks so cool in this game. I'm very excited. Uh, Galactic Republic Jedi leader, very cool. Uh, Galactic Republic Jedi synergy, thank God, need this. He's also a leader, so hopefully he's gonna make some of those uh, useless characters useful, which is uh, interesting for my other account, which we'll get to at the end of the game, uh, video here. Uh, Padawan Lessons is a new status effect that provides extra bonuses based on starting protection. Okay, he's gonna make a pretty big splash in Territory War with- Okay, well, Beck incorporated with his Qui-Gon Jinn- Wait, what? With the Qui-Gon Jinn team creates a nice addition to on the holiday table. Ooh, uh, dual lightsabers. Yeah, of course. So they're saying that might be pretty good with Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron. Let's see. Um, Keller and Beck, yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, that's not really important. Again, I haven't read this yet. So, you will want to mod Kylo and Beck for a little differently than you used to for a... Okay. Uh, you want protection. Let's see. Um, so, okay. So, you're going to stack protection here. Make some people more survivable. It's going to probably spread that around some... Okay, I see what it is. I see what's going on. For every 10,000 protection, you get one stack of Padawan Lessons. Each stack of Padawan Lessons gives you 10, 20 defense penetration, 5% offense, and the end result is 10,000 protection plus... Oh my god, 10,000 protection plus 20 defense penetration and 5 offense. Jeez, that is crazy. Dude, th This these stats with like... Datacrons and stuff. Can you imagine this stacked with like protection datacrons and stuff? Jesus Christ. Man, Thursday at 11 a.m. This will be fun. And you can get 100 stacks. And he's an attacker. So let's see. Here we go. Saber st stability. That looks so cool, man. Um, deal damage and grant foresight to a random ally who doesn't have it. And if it's his turn, attack again. Okay. So then what's this? Lightsaber training. Uh, oh, the training ball! That's super cool! Oh, that's really cool. Deal physical damage to target enemy. All allies gain offense up for tw two turns. Call all Galactic Republic Jedi allies to assist. There, there you go. If there's no GLs, allies recover health and protection equal to 50% of the damage dealt until the end of the turn. Otherwise, they recover health and protection equal to 5% of the damage dealt until the end of the turn. Jedi Bravery. Oh, there's a Zeta here. Dispel all debuffs on allies. Deal physical damage to a target enemy and a deal additional 20%. Calor and Beck's max protection to the target enemy as true damage. Wow. This is going to be a lot of protection, bro. I'm kind of excited for this. Um, so the leader is the Omicron. And uh, this is going to have Jedi allies have 50% defense, tenacity, 30 speed. Okay, cool. Final, at the start of battle, other G Galact GP, Galactic Republic... <laughs> Jedi allies gain stacks of Padawan lessons equal to the number of stacks of Keller and Beck has for the rest of the battle. All Jedi allies gain foresight for two turns at the starting encounter. And then uh, there's Territory Wars with the Galactic Legends uh, offense, and they have double. Okay, so it's just kind of a territory. This is the Territory War. <sighs> Who cares? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, they gain 50% tomb reader, more protection, more. Okay, they just gain a bunch of buffs. Cool. Whoa, while Keller and Beck is active, allies have 500% defense while. Oh, Dude, this is crazy. Keller and Beckett should be stacking defense on defense on defense on defense on defense. Oh my god. And then his unique is uh, Zeta with um, 40. Uh, if all allies are like the Jedi, Keller and Beck loses 40% max health and gains double that as max protection. Okay, switching more health for more protection here. And jeez, uh, he just keeps stacking more and more pr uh, protection and Padawan lessons. That's what he's going for here. Um, Let's see. Cover, cover, and say, uh, and Keller and Beck is in the leader slot, not the ally slot. For the first time, he'll be defeated. He uh, instead recovers 100% health and protection and gains a bonus turn. Otherwise, if the allied leaders are Galactic Republic Jedi and not a Galactic Legend at the start of the battle, they gain second wind for the rest of the battle, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. Okay. So, he's going to try and make some of these uh, Galactic Republic Jedi. He's going to make them beefy. He's going to make them really beefy, is what I'm getting on it. Uh, getting at here, I should say. Wow. I'm very excited for this. I think Keller and Beck is awesome as a character. At having him basically be, I mean, he's like a tank at this point. Like he's just gonna be sp spreading protection everywhere. Just constantly protection, constantly buffing teams. I'm kind of excited for 
to, well, not excited. I'm kind of scared to see what Datacrons do to this guy. And um, we got a, I hope, I hope Jar Jar Binks is coming. I hope Jar Jar Binks comes to the game. That would be amazing. I really, really hope Jar Jar Binks comes to the game. Man, that's pretty cool. I'm very excited to get this. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Kellerin Beck is going to be a beefy, beefy guy. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great way. A great day. That's what I meant to say. Bye.